really started the way we wanted to start uh, tough games that we played first two games, uh, but we've managed to win the right game if I would say so. Yeah, back in the top six. Happy for that. We always come to the tournament with a positive mentality of winning the trophy, but it didn't happen. Back to the drawing board. We'll see them next year. Yes, it's been very good for us. I think we still have a very young side. I think our average age, something like 20. You know, it's still a long road for us um, in terms of growth. Um, no doubt that we'll come back stronger next year and hopefully get into the finals. But no, we had some good performances throughout this whole week. Um, you know, Mignon de Prea scoring a 50, back-to-back -back 50s and 100, and Nadine with the ball as well, and then Kulina as well. So a few standout performances. But yeah, hopefully next year we can still we still have a good season ahead of us and we can just grow the grow the players. Yeah, I think it's very important. I think they can learn so much. We have a lot of experience, and I think especially younger players that's you know um, striving to play for South Africa one day. Personally, I think they can learn a lot, and just to see how Minion de Prea like constructed her innings and stuff like that. I think that's very important for the youngsters to see. Well, it's uh, actually nice, for, especially for the youngsters, to play with the national players and also just to, for them to share the experience with the other bowlers, especially we have uh, Daniels and Sidney in our circuit, so they're actually very helpful towards the uh, youngsters. But also for to play against the likes of Chloe, and it gives the other bowlers a challenge to actually bowl it, so they need to hit the areas from the word go. So that's quite a good challenge for them. Well, it's been good. Most of our players come from the rural areas, so for them to come here, to a city where there's malls and everything else just to do sightseeing and stuff. It's been good for them and obviously for them to be away from home, it's quite a good thing. But uh, they're coping and it's have been a, quite a nice stay in Bloomington. It's on another level, like it's high, high, high. But then we managed to play against them. Um, we managed to make scores because we even made total over 50. It was bad, but then it was also good because playing with them, it's, another, it's something else. It's something else. They got, they, they always played against the best. My tournament, um, I won't say it's good. It's like not good. It was my first week as a captain. Yeah, and then like captaining the team, playing, it was a lot of work. But I tried to manage it because I got coach here on the side and I got uh, some of the senior players, they were helping me, but I tried my best. We just tried to focus on what we needed to do as a team, our standards, our level of play, and how we wanted to go about um, our game during this week actually, to, in order to, to get us to the final. We've actually dedicated this, this entire season to him. From the first game, the girls have also been very open. We still talk about Coach Gobes, and it is a part of the motivating factor within our team, especially with, with me coming in. Nothing's really changed in the sense of you're not allowed to speak. From the first game, it's been this season is dedicated to Coach Gobes, and making the final is definitely a good way forward. Well, I think as a team that was relegated last year, we worked really hard during the season to get where we are. And our main goal was to get back in the top six and we achieved that yesterday by winning Burland. And I think we just came in today into the semi-final to enjoy ourselves and do what we do best and play cricket. I think the difference between lower level and top six is the lower level is more scoring runs and there's not really tough bowling out there. When you're in the top six you get to face some pretty high bowlers and work on your game which make it a thinking game as well. So I think being in a top six it's preparing mentally and physically not just physically because in a lower league you can only go in and play your normal game without thinking consistently. So yeah I think being in a top six again is a huge achievement for us and especially with our coach that was appointed beginning of the season as a player still last year. So I think she did a great job and I appreciate all the hard work behind the scenes. The vibe is very great. Um, we've worked really hard to get where we are now and we didn't expect less results than the ones we did now. And yeah, everyone is really happy. We won for for four and we're really excited like everyone chipped in there and there the bowlers did their job the batsmen did their job um, yesterday we had a very good partnership between Tasman and Lizelle and that was really great to put us out the line and I'm uh, really excited to see what's going to happen next. This tournament and the importance of it I think it's something good 
but I also think that women's cricket needs to be played more often because we can't just come to a tournament and then play five days of cricket and then play once a month in the season and then certain teams sometimes only come then they win one game and then they are stuck in the in the top four whereas maybe teams that have won one or two games they don't even make the semi-finals for an example so I think that the strength versus strength like it was in the old days I think that should be implemented again where the top six or top eight play each other home and away because then the national team will be strengthened as well because then women will be playing more competitive cricket.